we have Tyrone here as a patient care technician and he is going to show us the preferred way to do mouth care on a patient with an artificial airway. Now, artificial airway, anyone with an endotracheal tube or a tracheostomy tube who is attached to a ventilator. Always remember, bacteria is present in every patient's mouth and doing mouth care gets rid of some of this harmful bacteria. If mouth care is not done, this bacteria mixes with the patient's saliva and drips down their throat into the lungs and can cause pneumonia. Now this pneumonia is also called ventilator associated pneumonia or VAP and it can be deadly to patients who are already sick in the ICU. That's why we do mouth care every two hours for this. So let's get started. All right, always check with your patient's nurse before and just make sure it's okay to do mouth care at this time and on this patient. All right. Tyrone has already washed his hands and he's put on gloves, but now we need to gather the supplies. So show us the sage kit. Make sure your suction tubing and your suction canister is set up and the suction is working. Now you may want to place a towel or a washcloth under the patient's chin if there are a lot of secretions. Always ask the nurse if you can raise the patient's head or the bed of the position of the patient's head to the side. This guy's already sitting up, so we're good there. Okay, but always ask. Now for routine mouth care, which we do every two hours, use the green swab portions of the mouth care kits. All right, we use the toothbrush portion of the mouth care kit every 12 hours. Now with the mouth care kit not opened yet, pop the little package inside to release the mouth cleanser. Give it a squeeze. Now open the kit and Tyrone is going to swish the green swab around in the solution. All right, so then from there, he's going to attach the green swab to the suction tubing. Then he's going to gently swab the patient's teeth, tongue, around the endotracheal tube. Don't be shy. Get everywhere in the mouth. Place the swab perpendicular to the gum line. Turn the swab in a clockwise rotation to remove mucus and debris. Now, you want to apply a little bit of a pressure, um, but just enough to do some good scrubbing. All right? And as you can see, he's going to have his thumb placed over the suction port and he's going to apply some suction when he needs to. All right, and you see he's getting everywhere within that patient's mouth, also the endotracheal tube. All right, so when he's done with that, he's going to place a little of the mouth moisturizer on the patient's mouth and a little lip balm on the patient's lips if needed. He's going to show us that. All right. Once he gets that all applied, he's just going to make sure the patient is comfortable and then he is done with mouth care. All right, so we're going to roll into uh, teeth brushing now and if you're brushing the patient's teeth follow similar steps all right we're going to use the skinny suction tubing in the kit and we're going to suction the patient's mouth and Tyrone's also going to open the chlorhexidine bottle and he's going to dip the toothbrush into it and there's our chlorhex bottle all right he's going to dip his toothbrush into it And then once he does the dip, he's going to attach the end of the toothbrush to the suction tubing. And he's going to gently brush their teeth. All right. He can apply suction pressure as he needs to with his thumb, just like he did before with the oral care. All right. Now, just like at home, you should brush the teeth for one to two minutes. And once he's done with that, he can apply the mouth moisturizer and the lip balm if needed. Okay. Now we're going to date and time our mouth kits and that helps us to remember to do them every two hours. All right. If I forget, the nurse will see to it that we get it done. Okay. All right. Now we want to do our teeth brushing all right, on the initial shift assessment and then within two hours after intubation. All right. And the patient's nurse, like I said before, will ensure oral care is completed and documented every two hours. Thanks, everybody.